Hello, Ilaria in Padua. I'm very glad we have the opportunity to talk to each other this, this day. And, um, well, may we just ask you to introduce yourself? What is your job in Padua? You are dealing, of course, with the big, uh, sector of volunteering, but what do you do there exactly? And what is your daily work like? Thank you very much, Carola, and I'm really honored to be here today. Thanks for inviting me. Okay, um, I'm working for the Center for Volunteers in Padova, and uh, basically our office wants to support organizations, and we do it like uh, with consulting, uh, in, um, meeting, and we have trainings for organizations, And we try to help them when they have to write call for proposals for get money or funding. And so we try to support them like in any kind of their daily life. And I'm dealing especially with the, with the project management. So I help organization when they have to write calls for proposals. And I also coordinate the, our school for volunteers because we think that it's very important that a volunteer is prepared for what he, do, he does. And um, so we basically make lectures about uh, fundraising, about administration, about how to motivate volunteers to work uh, in, yeah, in the volunteering sector. So we try to um, help them in this way. And I also... Um, was the person in charge of the, our candidature for Padova Volunteering Capital in 20, European Volunteering Capital in 2020. And I'm, at the moment, I'm just, I keep the contact with the international stakeholders. This is a very interesting uh, key word, the European Volunteer Capital. And I think you had this title during a very special year, the year of 2020. The pandemic might have uh, influenced you very much. What were your learnings? What did you do during this year with the European Volunteer Capital title? Okay, yes. <laughs> Let's say that in 2020, that was the year of our um, our volunteering capital, we had really to change our plans because, of course, before we have planned to make many events, we want to celebrate volunteering in in a different way. But so we, uh, we were nominated on the 5th of December of 2018. So we had one year to prepare our 2020 year. So um, what we have done during 2019 was to create a very good network of relation with administration, with the other organization, with the church in Padova. And so we were ready to begin our year of celebration in 2020. But uh, just two weeks after our opening ceremony, we had the first case of coronavirus in Padova. And after that, you know, <laughs> what's happened. But uh, as the, for the work we have done the year before, so all the connection we have created, it was really, really um, easy for It's been really, really easy for us to uh, create a very good network of to help people. So we wanted, we had a lot of volunteers that wanted to work with, to help people in, during the pandemic. And we tried to coordinate all these experiences because we wanted, we didn't want to leave the very small group of volunteers working by themselves. We decided to coordinate all of them. So we had the possibility to ensure them, to give them a training to how to deal with Corona and how to deal with people during this pandemic. And so let's say that we have, well, we have um, helped elder people with the grocery shop. We have helped, we have helped, we helped people with the, um, maybe the, the delivery of masks if they couldn't go out from uh, their home. We help people um, because we have found out that there were two groups of people. There were people already in charge with the social sectors uh, in of the municipality, and they had somehow they already had somehow some helps. 
But with the pandemic, a lot of a new kind of poverty just showed up because there were people that usually were able to survive. So they had a job, so they had money to survive, to buy food and to live in a good way. But with the pandemic, with everything closed, they couldn't really have, they didn't have the money for, not even for the food. So we had try, we have built um, a system to help them with the shop. So we, de- we have delivered them a lot of bags <laughs> with food and yeah, we have, and we were collecting this food from the shopping center and the supermarket who wanted to help us. And also, uh, where in these shops, it was, a, it was possible for people to donate food. And then we were collecting all the food and then we have delivered it to people in need. So it was really, really a hard job what we have done, but it was really a success, I think. And we gave to our title of European Volunteering Capital a deeper sense, I think. It was not only celebrating volunteering, but put volunteering in practice. Really, I must say, Ilaria, this is very impressing and also it's moving me when I hear your words from this year. Um, what was your learning then afterwards? Maybe you had some conclusion what should never be missed with uh, the sector of volunteering. What did you What would you want to do now, even on a European level after this year? Yeah, we have seen that uh, volunteering, (laughs) volunteers were really, really important because without them, we could have not helped so many people. And so we want, we would like to, (laughs) as as like an heritage of our year of volunteering capital, we have Uh, We had an idea and we want to support and we want that the idea that volunteers are essential, we want that this idea is spread all over Europe and maybe all over the world. So uh, we are working now to nominate volunteering as a UNESCO immaterial asset. And so we are trying to build, well, in Italy, we have already built a very important network of also at an institutional level. And now we are just working to develop this network and at an international level. So we want, we don't want that, uh, it's a something that it's only from Padova, but we think that this recognizement has to be an international thing because all over the world, uh, volunteers have this this key role in the society and the, in the community, not only for the for the pandemic. Of course, during the pandemic, it was more evident, but we know that volunteers are working every day and every day they are important. Their work is very, very important. So thank you. This is a very, very good uh, uh, thing we would like to take up maybe with our conference. I'm very impressed and I'm deeply moved. I thank you very much, Ilaria, for this insight to all your work. Wish you all the best. And uh, for today, I'd like to say goodbye and I hope to see you soon again. Many thank thanks, Ilaria. Thank you very Ilaria. much. Bye-bye. Carola, to a lot of greetings to people in Berlin. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. Yeah. Bye.